Hello my dear students, I am just here explaining one of the previous gate question asked in Power Electronics, the latest year 2023, really it is a very good question, main thing is students should understand the circuit diagram, understand the gate signals, definitely you can answer this question easily and before explaining the solution for this, you try yourself before I do it, pause the video, you try yourself, then refer my video solution and you will realize your mistakes where we have done. Main approach is important, right. Before explaining this solution, my dear students, I would like to explain how to prepare power electronics because this is the subject where most of the students feels it is horrible in their B.Tech course. My dear students, power electronics is not a horrible subject, it is not a difficult subject. If you understand this with a proper approach, definitely it is the easiest subject and very interesting subject. The main point is you have to understand the approach. If you understand the approach in a proper format, then definitely this course will be very easy. Power electronics definitely it is the easiest subject where it is very interesting also. So to understand this course, just if you go through my regular course, in regular course, I explain lot of tips and tricks in a very easy manner, how to remember them, right. Along with the regular course, you can go through the quick revision course for power electronics. I have given that course only for 5 hours. Lot of shortcut methods to remember the formulas, what to remember, how to remember the formulas, how to practice the questions, what waveforms we have to remember for examination point of view. So lot of shortcuts and tricks I have given in QRC program also. If you go through the QRC program in Power Electronics, you can write down the short notes chapter wise, which will be very much helpful for you when you have a short time for revising lot of subjects, not only power electronics, all the subjects. Right, my dear students, refer the regular notes, refer the QRC program also. Definitely, it will be very much helpful to you. According to my advice, when you compare online course and offline course, off, there is no replacement for offline, my dear students. There is a lot of energy for the teacher in the offline course only. Moreover, whether it is offline or in online, basic information is same, but still you can see lot of energy levels in the teacher in the offline course. I always suggest my dear students to join only offline course. Okay? Right. Now just go through this question asked in gate 2023, the latest one. Very interesting question asked in Chopers. Yes, here the load current remains constant, my dear student. Here, see here, this is the load current. Let it be I naught. The load current is always constant here. That is always five amperes. Now, which devices will give positive current here, my dear students? Which devices will give positive current? Because current is always positive. Current is not negative here. You know. Suppose let us assume that S1 is conducting. S1 allows positive current. Now which devices will give positive current? Positive current, S1. Right? See, S1 allows positive current. See, this is the loop. S1 allows positive current. Right? S1 allows positive current. Any other? Any other? Suppose, if you switch off S1, if you switch off S1, this current free wheels through the diode D2, free wheeling. You, you know, S2 does not allow this current, no. S2 allows this direction, but this direction is not, S2 allows negative current. S2 allows negative current, positive current is only D2. That means S1 or D2, S1 or D2. So you will get positive current, you will get positive current, 
either by S1 or P2 because load current is always positive. Load current is always positive means either S1 is conducting, if not S1, if S1 is off, remaining is prevailing through D2. Okay. So here given load current is always positive either S1 or D2. Now let us draw the waveform for output voltage. Let us draw the waveform for output voltage. So simple logic with respect to time on the x axis, output voltage. Now gate signals are given. We are giving gate signal for S1 for about 3 microseconds. So first 3 microseconds S1 is switched on. When S1 is switched on, the load is directly connected across 20 volts battery. See, when S1 is switched on, the load is directly connected to the 20 volts battery. 20 volts battery. For how much time? S1 is conducting for 3 microseconds. See here, we are giving gate signal for S1 only for first 3 microseconds. After that, S1 is switched off. What is the total time period, my dear student, here? The total time period is 10 microseconds. See, total time period is 10 microseconds. See, this is 10 microseconds. This is the total time period. See, remaining places, S1 is switched off. See, when I remove gate signal for S1, S1 is switched off. When S1 is switched off, the load current free wheels through the diode D2. So, remaining intervals, the load current free wheels through the diode D2. Now, just go through this question, my dear students. One of the students will get a doubt, sir. Here, S2 is switched on. See, I am giving gate signal to S2. My dear students, even if you give gate signal for S2, it will not turn on because load current is always, S2 allows negative current. See, S2 allows negative current. But I do not have negative current in the load. Load current is always positive. That means even if I give the gate signal, S2 does not switch on here because D2 is already conducting. When D2 is conducting, the drop of D2 reverse buys S2. Even if the gate signal is given, so S2 will never conduct here. S2 will never conduct. Of course, D1 also will never conduct. These two devices will not conduct, my dear students. S1 and D2 will give positive current. Because load current is positive, S1 is on for 3 microseconds, remaining interval D2 is conducting. Now I want to find average voltage. So how do you find average voltage? Average voltage means area by time period, area of this one. What is the total area? This is 20 volts, 20 into 3 microseconds, 20 into 3 microseconds by total time period is 10 microseconds. So, 20 into 3, 60 by 10. So, 6 volts. So, average load voltage is 6 volts. Main thing is understanding the waveform, understanding the circuit diagram. It is very, very clearly given that DC current is constant and always positive. See, which devices will give positive current? S1 gives positive current. When I disconnect S1, Inductive current free wheels through D2. So that means S1 and D2 only should conduct. Even if I give gate signal for S2, S2 cannot give positive current. So S2 does not conduct in this case. So mainly in some of the questions, even if you do not remember the formulas, if you go through the diagram, you can easily understand the concept and you can easily solve most of the gate questions. Right? I hope this question was very much interesting for you. Right, students? Thank you, my dear students. All the best.